So just going through mail, I guess you could say, um, and I noticed a little weirdness to um, why do I have three different addresses that I could be sending a check to? So it kind of makes things a little bit weirder in my head. I'm, I just like to notate things now. So why is T-Mobile having me send a bill to Dallas? Then the same letter that came in at Cincinnati was listed as well as El Dorado Hills, California. The same piece of mail on those two. And then this one was yesterday's. Or the day before something like that. Weird. And I can't get any email from said so things that I can't understand or um guess put my finger on it type of um type of thing. Um and this is what I'm gonna work on today. Is that a start campaign of a seven million dollar education for three struggling public schools and one library i already um selected library and then i'm going to make a flyers stickers um designs campaign of logo and slogan um mission statement facebook page fundraising websites and other ways to com communicate funders and public relations that would lead back to that mission statement altogether to raise that money and it's just really frustrating when that can be staring in my face and other things can as, as well and kind of laughing at me type of deal. And I just try to, I guess, make things grow and be more charitable in that respect. But then when shit goes down shit creek, I guess you could say, um, I still get yelled at. I don't understand. Um, just because shit creek is... Uh, it's really not so crazy, it was just kind of funny. Um, but it seems like I'm always getting yelled out for crap. That, that isn't really... What is the word? That I am too honest to my own good. That I actually am not, you see. And that I'm being a good boy today and trying to focus on other things. And I would love to actually have sex. If I instead have toys of mass, getting fucked up my sling would be beautiful. And just seeing where things go. And I decide to accidentally graze over some mail. Look at that. Say, why am I not getting the good good of people donating a dollar, donating quarters, or donating something that is easy to do, but then also seeing so much of me trying to stay away from shit that, 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 um, that used to bother me to a crazy point of, I need to use to, you know, it's a respect thing. And that respect in its, in its entirety needs to be thought out and processed because it's really, really frustrating. When I go and try to make things happen, go and get online and say that I need to work, I have all these bills and I can't make money because things have tried to push me back, push me back and laugh at me. But then they get pissed off when I'm, you know, wanting to or wondering about or should. Uh, and, and you know what? Uh, I'm surrendering to all that. Because, you know, it's never made me bad. It's never made me, you know, oh, yay, back to muscle, Mr. Muscly Man that I used to be. Mr. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, let's just, you know, coast. Because in all in entirety... I was, you know, sexually assaulted. I was um, abused. And I was, you know, raped in the past. And that's the past for you. And I'm doing the camera this way because I don't have anybody filming me at the moment that I would like to hold my phone and actually show my face because I don't really want to have to spend the time to find a mirror and find a mirror so I can see the reflection of the bone on the other side because I can't really point it at my face right now, which kind of sucks. But that's okay, because that's what I get for being here alone in my house. That's what I get for, again, once again, trying to uh, believe in things that could just come in and help me move, move furniture so I could move my office upstairs. And once again, learning that I'm really, really good at my word. Um, really, really good at the good good. And really, really good at keeping myself busy so I don't go into, oh, I need to use... Or, oh, that's what's going on. Oh, oh, no, it's PTSD to its magnitude. 
it could be a lot of things. I don't understand it. And I do understand that I'm trying to move on. And and that moving on is going to actually fulfill a destiny that I've always wanted to work through. Um, because it is good, good. It is something that I respect. And it is something I need to work through. Just because of the fact it's me. It's how I'm built. It's how things are. And, and whatever that is. It's going to make that grow. It's going to make that grow. Because whatever that is, it's not up to me. Is it? Because I was already put in stone two years ago. That fundraiser that I wanted to do. But seeing things in hindsight, um, maybe I should have come on. Maybe I should have just said, you know what? I need to do this. But if I'm trying to get on with my my way of life of of trying to offer something to to a certain i guess sect of the population that that gets why i do what i do for a living then it's great but then when i'm having an issue with something and i have no money and i say you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go because i've done it before and not subdue not not just bow down because smoking or, or you know, sniffing or that it was never my problem, ever, ever, ever. And I've been around people that have done that and I haven't needed to many times, many times. But the one time I actually let myself say, you know what, I really need the money. I really need the money. I'm struggling. That one time that I actually say that, yeah, I know. And this was a while ago. This was over a month ago. But, like, seriously. What the F? I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to be me. And uh, it really doesn't matter what I'm putting myself into. I always find out that I'm just... Um, <laughs> I'm beautiful. I'm charismatic. I'm, I'm a fucking freaky son of a bitch. But I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't want anybody to get harmed. I don't want anybody to go away. Or I wouldn't say to tell on a Word document that I've saved to my fucking laptop that they just need to go to an island. Because 200 and some fucking years of not upholding a good decree of a democracy, of a cultured sect that has exceeded a dynasties. And it's it's a it's way too uh, um, exclamation point here, <laughs> meaning I need to have a reference for this um, this life changing event right now because it's not showing my face. Hi, I'm right there um, because it's 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 how our lives are shown in in the fireworks, the the greatness of greats of how. That that period in time gives us an exclamation for that little dot. And then it goes up, and then that's the reference, the firework. So that's why the asterisk, um, because it gives you reference. And that's exponentially gives us, you know, America. America, the U.S., the U.S. that gave us fireworks to see the bombs bursting. In the night to see the flag was still there to see how life in itself is so glorious that it shouldn't be wasted or pondered upon even if it is something that others don't agree with because we still have an array in our communities don't we and we still have guns and safes somewhere somewhere but some people can't remember a code when it's dangerous and so I don't understand why we have to have these things in our houses. I've never, I never did. Because if I had somebody in my house that I could physically say, what are you doing? And see them, and they're like, eh, doing something. I can't understand. I wouldn't want them to have one of those. I wouldn't want them to have that opportunity to have me remember, oh, shit, I have to get in this thingy bobber. And so, no, you go get your kids. And say, you know what, fuck that safe. I'm running. Because if we don't have the NRA in our community, then we do not have that, 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 ah, moment. 
because then you can go up to that person and say, are you hungry? What's going on with you? Because if you're just going to be somebody that goes in and out and does it for fun, whoever you are, because I hate to think people are that way, um, what are you doing? Are you hungry? <laughs> because seriously, I'll feed people. I've always been that way. I'm just starving myself. You know, it's not from whatever you want to call it. It's not that at all. I guess it is stress. Because I hardly have any food, but I could eat my food I have in my fridge. Um, I just want to be me and not be held down anymore. You know, this, this thing that has been over my head so many times over a song a song which doesn't make any sense in some aspects it does if you're like oh, 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 oh. and then you realize you might not sing good and that's totally okay you might not have the greatest words. You might not have the greatest, I guess, things. In your eye, it's, it's very beautiful. In your eye, it's great. It's glorious. And in other people, they might say, you're spoiled. What's up with you? You can't even see your face right now. And that's totally true. Because in my eyes, I'm beautiful. In my eyes, I can make mirrors of those mountains and save an entire, I don't know, as I felt back in the day. Things just collapsing, but they were in sort of respect. But that's why I have wanting to do that, the $7 million education for three struggling public schools and one library. Because that gets me my roots back. It gets me where I never had, you know. <laughs> I remember as a kid jumping into dumpsters to get school books <laughs> with my with my brothers and sisters, and you know, which is bad to say right now, but but breaking into the school itself to get school supplies, and this was years ago, but then we buried it because we felt so bad. And the, the playground. Uh, and that's how things were. You know, it happens when shit goes... Ugh, when you're so busy with life. And that's your parents so busy. Because that that guidebook that, that was handed to us wasn't very good and well written. For some people, some people were just so busy. Some people were just just basically... Too busy. And that's why I wanted to step in. Is to really, really insightfully look at myself and save millions of people from the turmoil I've gone through. You know, I I, I, I said today that I was going to do, I was looking at this, that I was going to do my life story. Because I think personally, I really need to get that out. Um, because I hear... Things that don't, I guess, make sense for you. You weren't sexually assaulted. Yes, I was. I was sexually assaulted 12 or 13 times in my life. It might be more because some people vary their classification of a sexual assault. And I varied mine because of the fact of I thought I deserved it. I thought I was lower than thou. I thought because I did a certain profession that it was okay. And that's why I wanted to get, you know, other associations of licenses involved to save those beautiful women, men that are just on the streets and only doing certain things because it's better than slinging dope. It's better than going like, uh, because it is. But we're not protecting those people. You know, some people might not agree with that, but who doesn't agree with sex? Who doesn't agree with having a good time or having a shoulder or someone to talk to? And thank God 
that I just don't have to go bend over and do that repeatedly, repeatedly, and then put down about it. Good for you who has to do that repeatedly and treat it like, uh, come talk to me. I can talk to you. Because I would like to go to a government that actually puts these people into a licensed group, like a nurse, like a therapist. Because we're going to get these people licensed as well as they'll have to get tested often. Like a fucking porn, porn actor, porn adult entertainer does. Because that's basically what it is. Adult entertainer just is lucky enough to be a prostitute on film with really exceptionally hot men, women, or sometimes not. Because it all is how the fetish is portrayed on that role play. And so that's where, you know, a lot of people don't understand. It's, it's all how you look at things. And just love. Just love people. Just look at the ground and say, what's going on down there? I don't know. Put your ear to it. I've done that. I've played Native American some chant songs because I thought I needed to appease something. Because I thought there was a cavern underneath us. Because I thought this, because uh, I went into my garage, sat in the little oil thing, and lit my lighter because it was dark. Because I was scared. And what did that prove? That the lighter itself had a little propane thing. It looked like propane coming out of the lighter because the butane had mist and then boosh. So I called the fire department. The fire department came over and said, no, we checked it. It's nothing wrong, nothing wrong. I'm like, okay, I'll just have to call mine school. No call back. And I just don't understand. These little, tiny, minute things are causing even major life-changing events to happen for me. Because if these things never did happen, as they have put it into my walking path, if you want to say. I might have got, already got that finished. And that's why the other needs to be happening. And that's just for me. I wanted to be slammed three times simultaneously, 90% full. Because in my eyes, these things are so detrimental here, here, and I can tell the difference that I need to get on that level. Because if you're limitless, a star child of prodigy, or some respect to me, or as you know it again. So, I only talk like this because I'm safe. And that's nice, because I've tried to do this in um, Houston, Dallas, um, other places, and, and it's keyed in there, which I don't think they actually knew I was doing this, so it might start skipping. Um, so that's why it's just really hard to <sighs> grasp at where they're coming from, where they're needing me to go. Because if I can go up into an attic and look at certain things that are just... You know, as a kid, you're scared of the dark. And you might put into, as a child would, an imaginary thing, such as, like, ghosts or, or demons, as adults do, for, like, the Bible, and um, romanticize about having a god or a heavenly father, or Ola, or Zunai, or, or Hercules, or Zeus. Um, but that's a great thing to uh, embody and have. Just because it builds our ethics and morals. It gives us strength when we dark down. Um, but if we're not looking at the real meats and potatoes of the entire thing, we're missing that Bradley found a huge, great thing out of facing his fear up in the attic long ago and saying, Come, oh, some, something, something really beautiful, saying, you know, move into the light. My spirit is so holy. I can't remember what I sang, but I saw eyes coming towards me, 
they were going ice, and then I said, it's okay, there. it's a color light, because I didn't want shock of, you know, of how I would feel like if I went into the light and actually moved on from this plane to another. Um, and that's the color. And then the color goes into the white light. The white light goes... Whew. So it's a lot easier. It's like the fast... Um, fast past. At Orlando, you know, at the Disney um, World rides, it's, it's showing that if you're good with yourself and you are true true to yourself and you have hardly any baggage to as as i thought you know purgatory and purge um then you're good then you have the fast pass um and that's back in the day i you know felt like everything seemed gonna gonna stop gonna stop gonna so i thought you know to myself well if that's what they're saying that the world's gonna end then then i want to take everybody that I can and save as much people as I can and just take them in beside me and take them up to heaven. And at the, at the, the very beginning, I thought, you know what, I'll just take whoever, you know, whoever's good, good. Um, but then I'm like, you know what, I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't be the judge of that because I don't know everybody. So let's give everybody a fresh start, a chance. So that's what I did. I said, even the devil, because you know, our names are always crisscrossed. Or made up. And he, you know, whether, whoever that devil is, I don't know him. I know of him. He's still there. But you know, I was always say, you know, that that as, as, as people have told me that it was Michael Archangel that was thrown cast down to the hell. But I look at it as, you know, maybe he's just a mole or an undercover agent like like we have. That, that gives us the faith in, in everybody's good and everybody can change and everybody has time to. And, and maybe that's what, you know, the devil is, is, is somebody that keeps down all the crap, like as I said for the, the island story, is dormant volcano gets people that have a chance of that 10 year um, 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 innocence project that, that go 